thing I want to talk about again with usability. I'm going to load in a couple more blank instruments here, give you an idea. So what I've done is I've just basically added a bunch of new instruments. Now imagine these are all instruments that you're using. We have this new section called the Instrument Navigator now. So you can see everything I brought in, I can go and find it. So if I want to just solo the, vi the viola, or if I want to solo the violin, I can grab it. Or if I want to solo whatever this instrument might be down there, it's all at my fingertips now, much easier, much faster. You don't have to scroll through this big rack of instruments. Um, in conjunction with that, we have a monitor page now where, say, if I want to look up a parameter, let's just touch the volume. So now I have the volume control for every single parameter here, and I can actually adjust it from this screen, and it will affect it. So say you have all these instruments loaded up, and one is just coming in a little hot, and you want to adjust the volume, but you don't want to scroll through. Just greatly enhanced workflow. So. Uh, in conjunction with that, let me go back. Also, I have a search section, so maybe I just want to search. I know what sound I want. I want this synth one called Violet. I think it's called Violet Motion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this rack, and then we'll load that in. Just double-clicked it. So here's you can see how the skin on the synth is different than the other ones. This one actually has like a cool little arpeggiator. I can go in. Step sequencer. Um, you have control over cutoff and filter, everything you might need right away. Release, reverbs, delays. So I don't have to go into any menu. I can instantly start tweaking a sound, which is greatly improved, and I love having that option. So, um, other parts of the library I want to go in and show you. Let's scroll through into the Urban Beats collection. So anyone familiar with using MPC and uh, wants more hip-hop oriented things, these are great. I'll drag in this one. You can see how they take. So I can play it like a drum machine, or I can actually go in and trigger the loops. And I can do different parts of the loop, like mute out a certain section, and then come back in all with a click of one button basically. You also have this groove box here so if I come higher up the register you can see it's triggering like a sequence. So if I want to add kick drums there you can go in and sequence by track. Very easy to go in. And then this really cool section called Master Effects where let's see here if I'm working with one section I can actually go in and hit a key to do like filter sweeps, reverbs, delays. So you can actually go in and kind of tweak it out pretty nice. Also, so we have a vintage collection where we actually went in and sampled old analog classics like Moogs and everything like that. Um, cool Yamaha organs. This one's the YC. <laughs> stuff. There's plenty of those to choose from. And then the World Collection, which has tons of sounds. You don't get these normally stocked with a lot of your plugin programs, so this is nice to have. You can see as, depending how hard I hit it, you can do different articulations. This even goes as far as to have the correct micro tunings for each instrument, and you can load in different ones. Um, set up different presets as well, so that's a nice addition. We've also added brand new effects, so we have some of the cool effects from effects like the cabinets, uh, distortion, you can actually throw in like the tube screamer into here, so the convolution reverbs are still there, so a lot for your money, so that's the contact-free library. <laughs>